Hi, welcome to my channel. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to make a rustic wood sign. So full disclosure, the sign that's actually in this video uh, was a gift for somebody that I made uh, at Christmas time. So I can't show you that sign, but I can show you how I made it and everything that you are going to need uh, to make that sign. So first of all, you are going to need a board. I like to use pine. It's a nice soft wood. And uh, if you're going to wire brush it, it's like totally optional if you want to wire brush it or not. But if you choose to, uh, pine is really soft, so it'll really get that grain exposed. Can't really see it in, in there, but uh, pine is a great choice to use for that. So for wire brushing, uh, all you're going to need is a drill. Um, my husband's a carpenter, so I have like access to all kinds of fun stuff in here. And actually a lot of time I get him to do this part for me. So that's a win for me as well. Uh, but anyway, all you're going to need is a drill and some sort of a wire brush attachment. We actually upgraded recently. So if this is something that you have, even better, it is this thing. I don't know what it's called, but it gets the job done really, really, really quickly, as you'll see in the video. Wire brush or no wire brush, totally your call. Even if you want to have just a nice smooth board, it's going to look beautiful at the end of the day. Uh, some other things that you're going to need is some stain. You're going to need a cutting machine of sorts. I use a Cricut, so uh, like there's a few different brands out there. Use whatever you want. One thing that I like to use is, uh, is shelf paper. You get it from the dollar store. I don't know how much it costs, like two bucks, four bucks, something like that. Uh, it's way cheaper than the stuff that you're going to find in, in the more expensive stores. I won't say where, uh, but it is kind of nice. Like it just peels apart. It's cheap. You don't feel bad when you throw it in the garbage at the end of the day because, like I said, it's super cheap. Uh, as far as stain goes, I, in this video, uh, for that sign, I used a white stain. You don't have to get like stain exactly you can water down paint whatever color of paint you want just water it down it'll do the trick <clears throat> as well uh another thing that i did use on that board use a lot of on my, on my wire brushed boards glitter another thing you can pick up at the dollar store so uh when you're when you're putting the glitter on it'll actually go right into the grain and it'll stick there for you as a nice little touch after the board is wire brushed, don't forget to sand it. Actually, even if you don't wire brush it, just make sure that you sand it. Uh, it's really important not to give anybody a sliver when you give them this beautiful board and then all of a sudden they get a sliver. That's not fun. And plus, you don't want to sliver it yourself, so don't skip sanding. One step that you don't want to overlook is once you have your uh, paper on the board, uh, you'll need like a little picking tool of some sort to take the lettering out, which you'll, which you'll see pretty soon. Um, but don't skip this step. Uh, take a clear coat of some sort. And once you have all of the lettering out, make sure that you give it a few good sprays with the lettering. And what that's going to do, it's going to prevent the paint from bleeding underneath this and making it look terrible. Because I have skipped that step before just because I'm in a hurry and I regret it every time. So take the extra time do that step you won't regret it when it comes to paint for the board be creative use what you got or you know whatever you want uh, i like to use a lot of metallics i think it looks so pretty when it's shiny uh different colors so obviously pink like pink is my favorite color uh, gold looks amazing wire brush or not like gold you can never go wrong with a gold uh, if you're a little bit more uh, reserved than me, you can always just use paint, whatever color of paint you want, black, white, red, green, purple, who cares? It's yours. Make it, make it yours. Be creative with it. It doesn't matter. If you don't like it, wire brush it again. You can start all over. I've done that before.
thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, like I said, that particular board, I already gave it away as a gift. I always like to show my end products, but I don't have it anymore. So you saw it in the video. It looked amazing. Uh, the, the girl that I gave it to, she absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, thanks for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you again.